welcome back to my channel. It's Kemi. My name is Kemi, and this is Kemi's journey. If it's your first time watching my videos, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe already. Turn on your notifications. I post a video every Sunday. And today, <laughs> it's an exciting topic. It is a very, 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 I can't overemphasize how valid this topic is, you know, and it's sensitive. So if you're kids, please school them over, you know, so I'm trying to keep it PG, you know. Anyway, so today's topic, we're talking about, a shout out to the blog. I think I got this from like a post from uh, one of the spiritual leaders I follow. It was from a youth conference. <laughs> This video was it was inspired by I shout out to the person who asked the question because I mean now you got us talking it got me having this conversation and then the church I just want to give us give a shout out anyways so it kind of you know brought ideas into my head anyways let me not drift because I tend to drift the topic today is his size knowing his size topic of the size i don't even know what what to give it to the title but whatever i come up with you see it in the thumbnail like is is like checking the size of my future partner or future spouses you know uh-huh 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 like knowing his size like mm, is it important is it okay I mean, they were, it was from a church, so they, I'm sure the lady's asking from a Christian angle, like, is it okay for me to say, ah, bros, or like, you know, bro, <laughs> like, like, the people here will say, like, bro, you know, can I just say the size, just, you know, before, you know, we, we jump the broom, can I just know how, you know, good it is, how effective, you know, how uh, appealing it is. <laughs> anyway, and the pastor's response was, OMG, it was epic. The pastor was like, whoever wrote this question, please come and answer it. He was kind of like, you know, being around the bush answering the question. And he was like, please, oh, is it pepper soup? Because obviously, if you want to check it, it means you want to taste it. And of course, you know, fornication is not allowed, you know, and all that, you know, in the context in which we're asking it. So, but that's not even the issue that's not the topic we, we we want to know please i want you guys to keep this interactive please if you haven't been leaving me comments please leave comments in the comment section i want to know how you feel i want to know you know so many things i feel like i would have loved this to be interactive yo why i decided to talk about this was I've been having conversation in the midst of what's been going on the lockdown and all that i've been discussing with my friends my male friends female friends and this is stuff that we talk you know hush hush on the phone just saying laughing you're like yo 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 did you see this video i was like whoa 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 wow like seriously it's ridiculous it's funny but at the same time it's probably one of the most valid valid questions i've heard in a long while you know it's it's very valid and i think it's something that we should talk about i feel like churches you know homes everybody should be having this conversation like does the size matter does the size matter do i have to know the size if i'm abstaining if i'm being celibate do i have to know the size how can i know this how can i know that i'll be fulfilled i'll be satisfied because sexual fulfillment is actually very very important in the context of marriage so how can and then you have to you have to know because nobody wants to be on the receiving end and then you're not happy you're not satisfied so and my friends especially the men folk my male friends will be sensitive when we're having this conversation and like we want to check the size we want to know and ladies please we need to know what the what's the average so that we can just be telling men that if you are if you are this please don't come near me you know that you know that kind of thing so i'm like I'll be arguing with my friends, we'll be having this conversation, laughing, just and I was like, yo, yo, I have to say this on my channel. We have to bring this to the table. My guy, my male friends have promised me that you know we need to revisit this. So this for now, you just have you're gonna have to just you know do with my opinion. You feel me? I'm gonna have like a part two of this series of this episode where I'll have like some of my guy friends, some of that, you know, male female friends come around. We're gonna do like a table talk and laugh and just and dissect this topic i want to know other people's opinion that's why for now i'm just begging you know, for your comments based on my opinion so we really really need to do this they've been telling me they'll come to town like we need to we need to revisit this we need to finish you women and the women are like we need to finish your men blah 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 you know but 
Anywho, for now, just do it with my opinion. I really, really want to go into this. Let's go. So like I was saying, the pastor's comment was hilarious. It was like, is it pepper soup? Why do you, why do you have to taste it? You're indirectly saying, you know, you want to fornicate. That was what, what he was insinuating. Anyway, for me personally, based on my faith, I would recommend abstinence or celibacy. However, however, we have to have this conversation, ladies. Like, what's the size? What's the criteria? What are we expecting? How big should it be? Like, who knows the measurement? Please, the person that knows the measurement should give me so that we can send to others. Like, seriously, like, let's let's have this. Let's talk. Should he like? Okay, so what if it's average? Like, what if it's just average size? Like, is that okay? Does everybody have to be? What will happen to the little guys? Like the little ones? Who's gonna? Who's gonna? Who's gonna deal with them, ladies? Like, like, what are we? What are we doing? And what? What if? What if say the tables were flipped around then? Eh? And guys, I mean, this is from a guy's perspective. Well, like, what if the tables were flipped around and they're like, okay, every every girl has to be a virgin. It has to be, you know, intact. Otherwise, we're not marrying. You know, that kind of thing. Like, okay, what are we testing for? Do you feel me? So I was just like, ah, you know, like I feel this kind of conversation should be heard definitely. I feel like if you're dating, if you're really dating, we have to open up, guys. We have to ha ask these um, hard hitting questions, you know, like go in. How have you been active? What was your past life? Were they happy? Were they satisfied? As if you're abstinent or, or you're celibate, like, okay, ask the questions. Like, okay, your former partner, how was, how was it? Was it good? You know, that kind of thing. Or I'm like, okay, can we, can we just say, you can just ask like, how, uh, what's, what's your, what's your health? What's your lifestyle like? Do you eat healthy? Do you work out? Because I believe that those things actually matter. You know, I feel like I've heard several times that, you know, size doesn't matter as well. They say size doesn't matter. It's um, more of the person's performance and all that. Because the truth is not everybody can be big like that, you know, big, big. But I feel like moderate, average isn't bad. <laughs> like the fact that we're having this conversation is hilarious. But I just know that it's all those awkward conversations that people always, you know, whisper and hush, hush, hush. And I talk with my friends, but we never really like talk about it in the open. So I mean, why not? I just said to. So this you know, brings me to the point of: Is this really a deal breaker, ladies? Like, say for instance, you know, you guys, because in my advice, like in my opinion, though, I would highly recommend that if you're dating someone you're about to marry the person you're seeing someone you're constantly taking it seriously you know you should go for a full body checkup unfortunately you know lots of people neglect this i mean that the question was probably one of the most valid questions i've ever you know heard in a long while however funny and ridiculous it sounded in my opinion like you asking that kind of question to your pastor what were you expecting is your pastor going to tell you to fornicate and all that but I'm like, is it a deal breaker though? Like, like, what if, you know, for instance, you're aware that the size is less than average? Is it a deal breaker? Is it enough for you to just say, you know what? Because before you, you, I feel like you, I don't think most people put up size before getting to know the person. You, you, you must have been invest, invested somewhat in the relationship. So do you just say, well, this guy is sweet, he's perfect, he has all the qualities I want, and then he gets to that point and he's like, uh, nah. So do you just say, okay, okay, he, probably you find out that the size is, maybe you go for a medical checkup or something and then you find out that he le is less than average size you just like say okay i'm out of here like all the time you invested and all like is it really a deal breaker M the medical condition is it also a deal breaker you love the person and you're like i'm willing to write it out whether it's a medical condition or the size is it like enough for you to just say okay nah 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 nah, nah. this ain't gonna work out you know that kind of thing I, I feel you I can understand because sexual fulfillment is actually really important in the context of marriage you know it's a long time to just stay stuck you know so but I think that it's 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 individualized like it's personalized like what what, what I can take you probably can't take it you know but I also think that is a relevant conversation to be had and then there again I'm asking myself how many guys would actually open up to this 
how many guys would actually open up and say you know what uh i think i'm less than average and then if we're being real here if we're asking guys to be celibate if we're asking people to you know be abstinent as well how does the guy know what is attainable how does he know if he's if he's able to satisfy or please his partner based on his past life before marriage and all that if we're asking them to be celibate to be abstinent like you know how does the guy know what what to look for like how does he know that oh okay i'm having this this sort of issue you know that i don't know if i'm making any sense so but that's just my opinion that's that's my opinion and then someone someone who's who's intact or never done it or clueless or whatever probably doesn't even know what to expect doesn't even know okay what size is below average or not is the doctor gonna even tell you like this size okay well i think i think they are medical they are medical they are i mean they have some information on what's the average size the inches and all of that but i'm like i really think i really think in my honest opinion that if we are to personalize this if we're to personalize this let's let's bring it back home like let's let's not get too serious like like let's say it's you know your kid your parent or it's your sister and the person comes to you and like okay i'm dating this guy i'm in love with this guy i love about to get married and stuff and like well uh down there it's not so satisfactory you know based on the size say you're celibate or not and you're like i don't think it's something i want to do like what would be your advice i feel like you know we should talk about this i want to see so much like a lot in the comment section i want to know what would be your advice what would you say put yourself in this scenario like personalize it what would you what would you do and and to those that let's even think about those that even living through this particular challenge like someone comes to you and i'm like and they're like okay i don't know just just advise me like what would you what would you do if you were in my situation you know <laughs> like i can't even i can't even begin to imagine it i'm not even trying to downplay this but i'm not i can't even try to imagine the situation like okay say i'm a parent now and my daughter comes to me okay there's this guy i'm in love with him especially if it's the medical medical condition i mean we have to you you got you both have to have like a, a very strong faith to be able to you know fight through the positive angle you know but if what if you don't have that faith i would not recommend you 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 delve into it because either it be the conversation of the size you definitely are going to be frustrated in that kind of situation you are definitely going to be frustrated you know this is not supposed to be like one deep conversation but if you know anyone has been in this situation or you know you're familiar with this kind of scenario or you actually are like me and then you said to brainstorm and like okay like what if this was actually like personal or there was a scenario that you're aware of like how would you recommend you delve into this kind of thing say for instance you're like okay the size the size wasn't satisfactory or it wasn't what i wanted of which you know come to think about it all someone has actually told me that <laughs> don't kill me <laughs> you know yourself don't kill me someone has actually told me that she ran away from someone that had it too big like she was like uh uh i don't intend to live with this for the rest i'm like so first well you can see that it, it, it works both ways like this life yo like yo i was like are you serious and our girls are, are you know crying about that and all that she's like nah 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 you need to see this like no way i'm like are you for real she said you know so much that when all that's all she thinks about she's like wow how is that person's you know partner even coping because she she couldn't so like no 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 it was too you know enormous for her to handle so i'm like please 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 i want i want you know people's opinion i, I want i want guys guys i need your opinion because i'm probably just you know sidelined or talking you know from my own perspective i i so want to do a part two of this series i'm gonna invite guys and other girls i feel like it's gonna be more interactive but i said let me just do you know like an introduction but just like i'm so anxious like i don't know why i don't know why body suiting you <laughs> anyways 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 
So I'm like, if you've ever been in this situation or you know someone or you just want to like dish your opinion, please serve it in the comments. Let me know at one other angle that I probably missed out and you want me to still buttress or something that you felt I didn't really, you know, break down. Or if you're a medical person and you feel, you know, there's some angle that I didn't get into. But all in all, anyways, if it were personalized or say for instance someone were to ask my opinion number one if you're in the context of dating i feel like if you're dating someone you guys should open up if you're celibate abstinent you should open up absolutely and i would also recommend medical checkup like from here like from here to like you know his toenails like do the checkup you know no what will let the doctor like give it the the download the statistics the statistics chase okay <laughs> Like let the doctor like let the doctor be your friend like tell me oh doctor no as if it's a guy doctor be like no don't just stick stick for the men folks so like consider your sister you know you feel me like so let the doctor you know and I feel both ways as well if it's a woman and all like but in this angle we're talking of the size right so we're, we're talking about the guys like the men folks okay so like find out go for the full checkup then you know, now ask yourself that ah. This guy, this guy isn't bad. He's good. He's kind. He's sweet. My quality is like the list, girls, ladies, the list. Like he meets like eighty percent, ninety percent of the list. And then there's this. This is the the bracket clause. Like and then you, I feel like you're, you know, you're like, am I willing to write it out in the long run? Am I willing to say, yo, this is it? Have you seen this movie? Fracture is on YouTube. You should check it out. Fracture. Like this, it's it also evolves around this, but you know the kind of like the the reproductive aspect of this you know after being married and then you find out you know but from the guys angle because usually there's always one mean mother-in-law that's always the you know the woman's fault i'm talking of that angle but we're not talking of the size angle now okay so let me not let me not defeat anyways so um what was i saying uh-huh yeah so we're saying if the size is less than average and you're like okay because i feel like that's the only reason why people will run i don't know about you know above average you but except for that my that my part that my sister that was like nah you know so i'm like if it's below average is this something that you're willing to write it out do you feel like his qualities should um nullify or outrule or you know the the size do you feel like man this guy is like one in a million and most, most guys like that are usually typically you know super nice and all that so do you think that is enough for you to like close an eye or is it a deal breaker for you do you understand is it a deal breaker like i really want to know i think that's the angle that i'm really more concerned about and how many guys would actually open up guys we need to do better though but i know guys their ego will not let them open up for this kind of situation like whether your your size is below average or you know you had issues where in the past the, the ladies like nah you ain't you ain't getting the angles right like most guys won't open up let's be honest that is why ladies the ball is in your court so we ask those hard hitting questions like you feel me ask those questions it's your time and it's allowed like go all out no i don't feel like any stone should be left unturned i don't think there's any question that is too close to home or no no, no this isn't proper like ask it yo <laughs> because is you are going to be the only like, the one on the receiving end as in and it's you know forever so i don't really think that that's my perspective on this topic though but it was it was a damn good conversation to be had and that person that asked that question shout out to you shout out to the, you know the person is coming it was hilarious i should look for that video though mm, maybe when i'm doing the part of this series let me know if you if you find this topic interesting or you know you just love the whole conversation and you like this um discussions with kemi or the kemi rants you know my talks and all that my opinion let me know how i did i would actually recommend you know like i already said i can't i can't i can't um i can't say too much i can't overemphasize it the full checkup prayer if you're willing to go through with a person you definitely need counseling and um guys open up let's be honest let's let's be honest let's be truthful with each other so that if it's someone that you know you love so much i feel like if you really love someone and there are some ladies you know that are willing to write it out like yo this guy is awesome he's amazing you know size or no size i feel like there are people that are willing to write it out like 
you know it is what it is like everybody can't you know be that size of i mean you know and if something that you guys can walk through there's a medical condition and you know it can it can it, you can be assisted towards you know making it better i mean like let's do this so i'm not i'm not judging i'm not bringing on anybody i'm not saying i'm just i'm just dishing it out as it is as it is <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure, you know, talking about this. And if you haven't subscribed already, what you doing? Please subscribe to my channel. It's Kemi's Journey. I'm going to be bringing amazing content to you. If you have any friend that might be interested in the content of this video, do share. Kindly like my video, subscribe. And thank you so much. Please turn on the notification button so that you uh, get notifications on my next post. It's been a pleasure. I'm Kemi. Thank you.